Okay, so it's 40 degrees. So I'm gonna make this quick, quick rundown on how a smart alternator works. Okay, just quickly down there is the alternator. It's a fancy name for a uh, generator, essentially in layman's terms, runs off the engine and charges the main cranky battery. I'm going to give a demonstration of how the smart alternator works. Um, it is obviously in the Jeep, but it does have some specific uh, features in it in regards to the auxiliary switches that are built into the system. But generally speaking, all smart alternators will generally work in the same manner. Now, just to clarify as well, this doesn't include uh, other types of what people call smart alternators, uh, as like temperature sets the alternators and things like that. So um, this is a genuine smart alternator. Um, it's kind of like the uh, smartphone of alternators, basically. So now if you're wondering why cars these days do have smart alternators, essentially it's just a fuel saving thing. Um, as long as the alternator is working, you're gonna use more fuel. So I should say, as long as the alternator is operating and actually uh, providing voltage to the battery, it's gonna use more fuel. So the least it can work, the more fuel you'll save. Anyway, not too much rambling on. This is how it works. Okay, so we're, we're driving. I'm accelerating there. So you'll see the voltage drop down. Okay, as the alternator disengages, it's just sitting there at 12.2 volts. And we'll keep accelerating. And watch this old coast and you'll see that the alternator will start boosting the battery up to 14 volts. Back on the power, voltage immediately drops when the alternator switches off. Driving up the hill, run a bit of load, run a bit of power. As we come over the hill, I'll take my foot off the accelerator and we'll coast down it and you'll see the battery start to boost. So we're coasting down the hill now and you'll see the battery boosting. coasting down the hill as soon as I put the power back on you'll see the voltage drop down again because the alternator will switch off okay now watch this so we've just come to a stop you'll see the voltage will drop down to about 12 volts flat it'll just use that that uh, sort of 0.5 volts to run the vehicle now if we go down and we press our auxiliary one switch it's like it primes the system ready for your, your those accessories to be used so you'll see it bump up to back up, back up to 13 volts and the alternator will float the system at 13 volts we turn this auxiliary off and then we'll give it sort of a few seconds and you'll see the voltage will drop back down to a float voltage of 12 volts or roughly 12 volts and then down she goes. Now if we switch the vehicle off, watch this. You'll see that the battery will sit there and float it at its 12.5 volts, which is completely normal. Start the vehicle up. Go back to our accessories page. It's now sitting at around about 12 volts. Ox on. The float voltage goes up to 13 volts. Okay, now additionally to that, you'll see that the car actually monitors the uh, like the charge state of the battery. And if it feels that the battery needs a charge, it will just boost the battery regardless. As you can see, we're, start, we're sitting here parked, idling, and you can see that it's uh, boosting at uh, 14 volts or as near as max safety difference. So if you found that informative or interesting, just do me a favor, click the like button on the video. And if you're enjoying the channel, um, click the subscribe button, go and check some other videos. I do a lot of uh, full driving and some uh, bigger non-technical videos, um, but they actually, there's a fair bit of effort that goes into those ones, um, which seem to get the lesser views. So, but if you're interested in four-wheel driving, jump on, have a look at what I've got, what I've got there. Anyway, uh, we'll see you on the next one.